LabStreamer is a general purpose device for quantifying the hardware performance of computers and devices in your lab. Measurement of latencies associated with the hardware in your experiment setup can provide you with a more precise understanding of the timing of stimuli and responses in your paradigm. LabStreamer is platform independent and self-contained, requiring only power and a wired or wireless network connection. You can easily configure and control LabStreamer from any browser. LabStreamer utilizes the Lab Streaming layer for synchronizing data between systems. The Lab Streaming layer is an open source standard for unified collection of measurement data. LabStreamer can monitor signals from the included photodiode, stereo audio input, and four general purpose analog inputs. Here we see the photodiode signal monitored by LabStreamer displayed in the browser. For stimulus software like Presentation, LabStreamer can easily compile latency measurements. The vertical line is a LabStreaming layer software event generated by the stimulus software. LabStreamer uses the horizontal line to threshold the analog signal to generate hardware events. The threshold, as well as many other parameters, can be controlled in the control panel like so. LabStreamer compares the software event to the hardware event to measure the device latency for each event. This quantifies delays introduced by the display hardware and driver implementation, which are not detectable by stimulus software. Here we see a histogram of the latency between the stimulus software events and the actual display events for this tablet's display. Summary data is shown here. The bottom left plot shows the latency over time. The bottom right plot shows uncertainty induced by using a network as opposed to a direct connection to the stimulus computer. For typical networks, this uncertainty is less than 100 microseconds. LabStreamer may also be configured to convert analog signals into digital timing pulses on LabStreamer's digital output port. Here, an audio signal is plugged into the LabStreamer. The audio signal is thresholded to produce a high voltage whenever the signal goes above threshold, and a low voltage whenever the signal goes below threshold. Due to the oscillating nature of many signals like audio, the LabStreamer provides debouncing options to produce more useful output. Now the output is a square wave matching the envelope of the audio signal. All LabStreamer data, including generated events, are transmitted to the LabStreaming layer and can be analyzed with any compatible tools. On the left is the LabStreamer control panel. On the top right, we are recording all five LabStreamer streams with Lab Recorder, an open source program. In the bottom right, we are viewing the main data stream with an open source MATLAB viewer. For detailed documentation covering additional features and use cases, complete specifications, and purchasing information, please visit www.neurobs.com and see the links in the video description.